Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. Most countries have subcultures or smaller cultures within them that are fascinating and that contribute to the overall culture of the country. The U.S. is no different. One of the subcultures in the U.S. is the Appalachian culture of the mid-Atlantic southern states. Let's take a closer look at that culture today and turn the spotlight on Linda McDaniel's A Life for a Life. It's 1985 and Della Kincaid has given up her life as a Washington DC journalist after the breakup of her marriage. She's bought a disused general store in the small Appalachian town of Laurel Falls, North Carolina. She hasn't been completely accepted because she's not from around here, but she runs the store well and people are beginning to see that she respects the way they do things. More to the point, they're glad to have the general store back as it makes buying supplies that much easier. One day, Della and her dog Jake are taking a walk when they discover the body of a young woman. She notifies the police in the form of Sheriff Brower and the immediate conclusion is that the young woman committed suicide. There's even a note to prove it. It's strange that she would choose that particular place since no one recognizes her as a local or the relative of a local, but Brower is satisfied and at first Dell wants to be done with it. She soon becomes a beacon for curiosity seekers and she's a person of interest So since she found the body. So like it or not, she is drawn a bit into the case. Then she gets a clue that suggests that the young woman was murdered. She starts asking questions and quickly learns that the sheriff is not interested at all in pursuing the matter. In the meantime, Della has struck up a friendship with 15-year-old Vester Bradshaw Jr. He's got the unfortunate nickname of a bit. His father has always said that he's a bit slow and the name has stuck. He does have trouble learning, but he's observant and more intelligent than people think. As the story goes on, Della relies on a bit to look after Jake when she needs to run errands. He's also helpful unloading and loading and he does other chores as well. A bit is intrigued with the murder and as you can imagine, he's interested. He has a real sense of loyalty to Della too. So he starts working with her to try to find out more about what happened. As the novel goes on, we learn that the dead woman's name was Lucy Sanchez and that she may have been mixed in with some dangerous people. And as Della a bit and Della's ex-husband Alex discover some people in town have hidden parts of their lives. If they're gonna find out who killed Lucy Sanchez, they're gonna to have to uncover the things that might be safer left alone. So what is in this novel that keeps it going? What are its elements? The novel takes place, as I said, in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina, and McDaniel places the reader there very clearly. The physical setting, the local culture, and the people are all distinctly Appalachian. McDaniel shows readers life there without being condescending or stereotyping the characters. As the story goes on, it's clear why Della would have chosen to live there. It's a beautiful place. The story is told from two perspectives, both first person, both past tense. The perspectives throughout the story are Della's and a bit. We learn the truth as they do, and sometimes we see events from two different points of view. We also get to learn about both characters. Della is middle-aged, intelligent, and self-sufficient. That doesn't mean she isn't vulnerable. She is at times. But readers who are tired of young, beautiful protagonists who get into constant peril will be pleased that that's not the case here. For his part, a bit is observant, thoughtful, and more intelligent than people realize. He knows the area very, very well, and although he isn't traditionally smart, he does have his own wisdom. The story isn't what you'd call a light, cozy novel. That said, though, it's not gritty, and there's no explicitness. A Life for a Life is the story of a small North Carolina town the people who live there, and the impact when murder changes everything. It features a whodunit sort of mystery and two protagonists who are each trying to fit in in their own ways. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.